Hello, everyone. My name is Deborah Ingravallo. I am a liaison with Food Export Northeast, and I'm based in the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania office. Thank you for joining this preview call for the Focus Trade Mission to Dubai for Food Service and Retail. I am joined on this call by Anna Kazarian, who is our in-market rep in the Middle East, and our activity coordinator for this event is Sandy Renner, who is also on this call. This preview call is dedicated to the Focus Trade Mission to Dubai to discuss the market, the products of interest, and the general itinerary of the mission. We will also discuss the cost to participate as well as registration. The call will last about 30 minutes and will be recorded and posted to our webpage. Everyone is automatically muted. We encourage you to ask questions though through the Q&A box to be discussed following this presentation. The questions that are not addressed will be answered in email. Lastly, you'll see a slide of our liaison team to contact with questions or for help with registration. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Food Export, we are a nonprofit organization working with agricultural promotion agencies from 13 Midwestern states and 10 Northeastern states. We provide the support that U.S. companies need to enter international markets. We have in-market representatives from around the world to assist U.S. exporters with their international marketing efforts, um, such as Anna, who, uh, who will also be uh, present at the Focus Trade Mission, and you will hear from her shortly. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce you to Anna, um, and we hope that you'll have the opportunity to meet with her in person. Anna, it's all yours. Thank you. Um, I'd like to talk to you about the itinerary of the uh, FTM that we're going to have. Um, it starts on the 5th and finishes on the 7th of December, and we would expect arrivals to be coming in uh, by the 4th of December. Uh, we start off on the first morning uh, with uh, a, a briefing by the OAA. Uh, at that briefing, briefing um, they will go over the six GCC countries and what is actually happening uh, within the uh, six GCC countries with uh, US products as compared to uh, other products from different countries so that you get where your position is uh, uh, within this Gulf setup. Um, after the market briefing, we go on a bus tour and that takes us to six uh, large shopping destinations. They're different, you know, some of them are, are English owned, some of them are Indian owned. They have different products. Um, maybe some stores will have more ethnic products but also uh, cover the British and the USA and Thailand, et cetera. And um, others uh, will be uh, catering to, to different markets. But these are the largest um, supermarkets that we take you to. And this is where we feel that you will get the more information uh, for what you're looking for. At these places, we expect that you are... Um, looking to uh, see what your competition is, for instance, uh, the kind of labelling that there is, how much they are, there are of different products. Uh, we find this to be a very successful uh, trip for um, suppliers coming in so that they get, a, you know, within five hours, you get a full uh, cross-section of what is on offer. Uh, when you come back from that on the first day, we do hold a no host uh, dinner, and that is usually at um, an Arabic restaurant uh, in Dubai, um, so that you can see the you know more cultural side perhaps uh, of this city. On the next day, we do the one-on-one -on -one business appointments. Uh, these are done uh, at the sites of the buyers uh, that you might do a partnership with and uh, we provide limousines for that there is a limousine so if we if we have 15 participants for the FTM we will bring 15 limousines each of those limousines their drivers will have your itinerary for the day 
and they will take you uh, to the destination so that you can uh, go and meet to your meeting and then come back. One thing with the uh, business appointments, uh, we send out a, a circulation uh, to our buyers to say uh, what is on offer uh, with the suppliers that have come. And they actually choose who they want to see. So you may have a, buyer, a, a, a supplier that comes and they get 10 appointments. You may have others that get three appointments because we are not going to send you to places uh, unless the people really want to do business with you. So that's, the, that's how we uh, deal with the business appointments. Uh, the second day also, the, like the uh, Thursday, December the 7th, we are also doing um, business appointments and the same thing will happen uh, for that. Also on, the, on that day, uh, we do a tabletop presentation. This is where we bring other suppliers in, uh, uh, buyers in, uh, to look at your supplies. So this is a social uh, networking instance. We have all of the top retailers, distributors, importers that come to that function and uh, you set up your tables in a in a square around a ballroom and in the middle there is uh, places for uh, networking uh, cocktail tables where you can discuss uh, with buyers uh, about your products uh, I would say on this one that um, if you've not been here before, uh, you know, please um, try to network on that. It, it sometimes helps you more to be more outgoing and more proactive uh, discussing uh, with the buyers um, that, that come in. And uh, again, we have found this to be an extremely uh, 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 excellent opportunity for you to meet uh, partners in the in the long term and hopefully you're successful with that uh, with regard to the kinds of items that you might want to bring i actually did ask some suppliers uh, this time uh, what would you like and uh, we have uh, one of our largest retailers said well we want more innovative items in the following categories that is snack it snacking organic, free from, and condiments. Uh, Dubai likes um, the more uh, trendy kind of foods. The Saudis, the Kuwaitis, etc. they uh, are more slanted to, you know, the normal kind of produce that you would get in, in a grocery store. And we do have hosted buyers uh, that do come from other Gulf countries uh, that will be looking at uh, the, the supplies that you bring uh, to see if they can do business with, with you. Um, I think next one, please. So talking about the market briefing, this is what the OAA does. Uh, this is the kind of setup we have. Uh, they bring in their own PowerPoint. They explain about the, the market status at a current time and uh, they also give you the uh, uh, PowerPoint so that you can go through that PowerPoint after listening to them at your leisure and uh, they found that to be very useful. At the end of the PowerPoint you're, you're able to ask uh, questions with regard to anything that has come up within the PowerPoint or things that you don't know. Maybe it might be for the fact of how do you get your products here? It might be how do you get the Arabic labeling? It might be something to do with halal um, certification. All of these kind of ministry regulatory items is what the OAA are very good at answering. And they can give you very complete and up-to-date answers 
um, during this uh, during this briefing that they have. Next, please. Uh, I've just given you a sample, you know, for that briefing, for instance, these are some of the factual informations that we have. Uh, the, the, these were given to us uh, last year for the team that came, but the PowerPoint is probably 20, 25 slides. So I just picked out, you know, these three slides so that you get that they are looking at the, uh, you know, cross cutting of, uh, you know, what is growing, what is not growing and uh, how it looks across the six GCC countries. This is the market share that they have. So you have all of your countries and you see that you, the United States has a 10 percent uh, share as of uh, last last year. OK, obviously, these will have changed by by uh, your coming mission. Next, please. Uh, this is part of the supermarket tour. We do pr do promotions if you've got a product or whatever. Um, so you can see that blue archway. There is a, there is a promotion going on at this supermarket. You can, uh, as I see, see the selection of products that are available. And you know, if you've got organic, uh, I, let's say organic peanut butter, that may be in several sections. You may get it in an organic section. You might get it in the normal grocery section. So you have to really look around when you go uh, uh, looking for items like this so that you get um, a clear idea of what's on offer if you're doing, for instance, peanut butter. And we find this very, very informative. And you will see uh, each um, grocery store that uh, or supermarket that we take you to, you will see how different the items are from, from one to the other. So it gives you a very uh, clear, uh, structured um, uh, five hour tour on this. And it's quite beneficial. Next, please. Tabletop presentation. This is just an idea of what goes on. So of course the food we're put in the middle. This is your social networking type thing. And uh, you can see one of our suppliers, Hudson, that's sitting there uh, with uh, some people that have come, buyers that have come, so that they can look at the products that he has. So this will be all the suppliers all around the periphery uh, of the uh, Alwassel ballroom that we do it in. And uh, it works extremely well. It's, uh, you know, very well thought out. And this is why we use this particular hotel. Uh, this particular hotel, of course, um, is uh, very good. It's on the Sheikh Zayed Road. You can get, even if you wanted to go to Abu Dhabi or you want to go to Ras Al Khaimah or you want to stay in Dubai or Sharjah or whatever, this is all the uh, connections that you can get from this one road. So the hotel position is excellent um, if you're going out to see buyers, etc. Next, please. And I think that's all we have for you, Anna, at least for this moment. Uh, we're going to get to uh, to the q and I just wanted to uh, bring up, you know, the prices and the registration deadlines that, of course, everyone is, is interested in. Um, always best to register early. I mean, these missions are focused in the respect that uh, there are a limited uh, number of participants that we expect. Um, accept. Um, first deadline that you really need to pay attention to is that early registration deadline that's coming up on August 2nd. Uh, the price is $400. And if you're still undecided, you still have time until September 13th to decide um, at which time the price will be $600. Um, here is just a listing of the services that are included um, in the mission. And I had an touched upon just a few, such as the tabletop showcase and then the, um, you know, the market briefing by the USDA and the Foreign Agricultural Service. Um, but just to stress, you know, the meetings are one-on-one -on -one with qualified buyers. Um, and afterwards, you know, Anna's going to be around too, you know, for any on-site assistance, you know, that you may need um, while you're there. Um, there is an inclusion of the trade and of in the trade mission brochure, um, just about your company and your product. And, um, you know, hopefully Anna, maybe during the Q&A can get into that uh, just a little bit more as well. Um, 
here's a listing of the liaisons here at Food Export. Uh, the three on the left are my colleagues here in Philadelphia, and then the, the other three are based in the Chicago office. Um, we are assigned our states, and we encourage you to reach out to that liaison um, according to your headquarters state of your company. Um, I'm going to leave this slide up just while we handle the Q&A, um, just, you know, so you have your, your contact there in case you do have any questions or you need help with registration. Um, I, we, I just wanted to ask Anna, the, um, the company brochure that we had mentioned in the trade mission services, can you elaborate just a little bit more on that, like what, what the company should include when they register, like what those buyers are looking for? Okay. Uh, the, as I said, the process that we have is um, to send out a, a short caption of every company that comes to the FTM. That caption is about 10 lines long. Uh, it should, of course, give what your product, your most important details of the product that you've got, probably when, when your company was founded, um, whether your items are gluten-free or sugar-free or, or all of these items, all of these descriptive words that you would use uh, to promote your product, uh, it would be a good idea to have in that caption. I do have uh, an example uh, that once I've deleted uh, some of the names on it, that I could, it will give you a good idea as to what you can include um, within uh, what you're putting forward, because this is uh, what the buyers will be looking at when they se select you uh, to go and see their company or when they come to see you at the tabletop presentation. It's very, very important, this. And uh, this is why I, I think I should share that. So it just gives you an idea. Uh, you, of course, should have your logo on it. And uh, that should be uh, a good uh, production of a logo um, uh, so that it stands out quite clearly on there. Uh, it will also have your contact details. Some people, when they receive that, they may contact you before you arrive for the FTM. They may want to ask you some questions for that. So it has your telephone number, your company uh, address, and ways that they can uh, contact you personally also. Great. Thank you, Anna. Uh, we have a question um, also about the samples, like how to send them, how to, you know, how to get them to you, good time frame for that, et cetera. Uh, the, the samples, I would suggest that they come to me no later than the 15th. That means that they should be, if they're coming to me, they should be in my house by that time <laughs> and all out of customs or whatever. We do recommend that, uh, and we've had a lot of success with this, that, um, you know, if, if your quantity is transportable in your suitcase, that this would be a, a good option for you. We haven't had any problems with people bringing their items as long as they are, um, uh, uh, they have a, a label on it saying that this is sample only, they're not going to be sold. Uh, we have a 10 kg uh, li uh, limit. You know, if it starts going over 10 kg, they start uh, taking uh, more notice of what's in your suitcase or what's in any parcels that you're sending. So you have the option of using like, DHL or shipping it again this is in 10 no more than 10 kg sizes uh, that you so if you've got like 40 kg get several boxes and send them in um, it, you know uh, same way with labeling but uh, not in, not all in the same box because it attracts too much attention um, you you can uh, if you're sending anything by shipping you can send it direct to me if you have something that requires refrigeration uh, you can also send it direct to me i will keep it here and to, and i will bring it on the day uh, that you you need it for the start of the program quite often um, the hotel does not take your products earlier than the day that you arrive uh, so uh, 
you know, in order to keep your products, I would save them here and uh, then bring them with me on the first day so that you could have it. And we haven't had any problems with these kind of things. If you're doing uh, bringing things that are, are halal, um, then it should have halal uh, written on it. Um, and I would suggest to everybody that whatever products you're bringing, whether you're sending it via uh, shipping, via DHL, or bringing it in your suitcase, I suggest that you give me what you're bringing and the quantities that you're bringing. Why do I ask for that? It's because if you have a problem, I can then contact the OAA who have uh, some power with the regulatory authority uh, that they may be able to help you either at the uh, when the, the shipping arrives or uh, if it's air delivered or when you bring it in your suitcase. They could make a phone call on your behalf to explain what your products are. Uh, so uh, this is what I think is, is helpful for anyone that's bringing samples. Great. Thank you, Anna. Um, could you review, um, just, to, just go into a little bit more detail or just review what the products of interest are for this mission? Oh, yes. Yeah. So I, I mentioned that and I, I also uh, asked a few people what they're looking for. That's That means, I mean, buyers, what they're looking for and whatever. And they came up with mayonnaise dressing, sauces of all varieties, pancake uh, waffle mixes, syrups, ketchup, pasta sauces, bulk and microwave popcorn, peanut butter, toppings and fillings, pickles, Vienna sausages, vinegar. And I would say what also goes down well is uh, dairy products, snacks uh, go down very well. Uh, some of our customers want, you know, because we have all the normal snacks on the market here. Of course, the Kuwaitis and the Saudis might like the kind of older kind of snacks, but uh, they're looking for more innovation. What else can they offer as a snack item uh, that might, you know, uh, infuse their customers uh, and buyers, uh, you know, to to uh, come and take it, etc. Uh, so these are the kind of uh, items uh, that that are, are very good. Uh, I do find, uh, you know, it's uh, it's very difficult to um, say. Uh, I always say, bring what you think you should be bringing as well as keeping in mind what these people are asking for. You know, if you feel that you've got a good product, good products do sell on this market. I would also tell you that this market is buzzing. Dubai is buzzing at the moment and has been for several years. Uh, we, have, we have the COP28, uh, which is the climate change um, uh, meeting that uh, arises every seven years. This year it's going to be in Dubai. It starts on the 30th of November and it finishes on the 15th of December. This crosses right across uh, your stay here. So the hotels on the Sheikh Zayed Road are filling up quick. And uh, I did send out a, a list of close by hotels they almost they they will also fill up because anyone that wants to get to the cop um sessions uh will need to stay in a hotel basically so if you're thinking of coming to the ftm uh we do have uh hotel rooms i have blocked off a a, a, a group of hotel rooms within the juzit thani which is where this is held um but, you know, they've only got a limited number. At the moment, I've only got 12 rooms uh, for that. So um, I don't know if you want, Deborah, if you want me to go into the hotel itself now or wait a bit later. I think only because we're running just a little bit short of time and because we do have more questions, uh, maybe that's something we can address later or the suppliers okay. can or companies can address maybe directly with their liaison and we'll reach out to you. Sure. Um, I, there was a question that had come in about the um, those who are invited um, for the tabletop reception, yes. you know, are they distributors? 
how is that handled? Are they, you know, who, yeah. who gets invited to that reception? Okay, I say I have a large database for the six GCC countries. And from that database, all of the paragraphs that you send me about your product will be sent out with my database uh, to all of the buyers across the six GCC countries. So that's the first of the process. Then I follow up that with a second one. And then the OAA follows up with a final one. And this all, no, no matter what I'm sending out, it comes under the heading of OAA, which, uh, you know, is the Agricultural Department uh, of Dubai. Of course, we also have the OAA that's in uh, Saudi Arabia, okay, and they will be keen uh, to be sending, as they're nominating quite a few anyway, to go on different missions, uh, they would be keen to send uh, their Saudis over over to us also so that that's the basic thing and that's why the literature that you write up and the profile that you write up is so important to attract your buyers to come to the tabletop great um we did have a question um in the list that you had mentioned about the products of interest or beverages um amongst that list Okay, but uh, beverages, I will say, is is uh, not um, it's not good. It's usually a good product, the beverages, but uh, recently it hasn't been good because they've introduced a sugar tax on beverages in the six GCC countries, and it's fifty percent of. Um, the you know for a taxation it's a 50 percent taxation on sugar now you may say well mine is made of fruit and that's natural sugar they don't discriminate with uh, the sugar item uh, so uh, it does it does uh, present a little bit of a challenge to our buyers because then they're looking at the pricing as to how they can get it on the shelf but usually beverages, you know, are, are good, but you have to bear that in mind that uh, uh, buyers will be weighing up that tax. And Sana, um, and then just one last question because we are almost out of time. It's actually a two part question. Um, are there gonna be, um, like what buyers from the Gulf region do you think will be participating? If you could just elaborate a little bit on that process and then also will there be transportation provided um, to meet with those buyers? Uh, well, when the hosted buyers, for instance, when they come, we put them up at the Dusit Hotel uh, or somewhere of their choice, wherever they're going. Uh, but everything for the hosted buyer happens in the Dusit Hotel. So you don't need a uh, transport for them. Uh, um, you know, the buyers will, will uh, meet you at the tabletop uh, presentation. And uh, maybe they may even ask to meet you earlier than that uh, whenever they arrive uh, at the hotel. So no problems with the transport on that one. And uh, we do get from the six GCC countries. I mean, it depends. We send out to everybody. And then, uh, you know, anybody that applies to come, we bring from these countries. We bring them. We make sure that they're there. Okay, I think, uh, I think we're just about out of time. And um, if there were any questions, any additional uh, we encourage you to reach out to your liaison. Uh, we'll certainly get them to Anna and also to Sandy as our activity coordinator. We'll be happy to help you out. And keep in mind that August 2nd deadline, that's the early registration. And uh, yeah, we look forward to, to you joining us. All right, thank you can everyone. I add, can I add one thing for a moment? The pet food is important also. <laughs> I mentioned the, the food items, but if you're a company with pet food, that's a good one to bring also. That's it, sorry. Great. No, perfect. <laughs> nice little tip. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone.